Hello. Today we're joined by a host of famous faces who happen to be able to paint. They're here to help us mark Sky Arts Access All Arts Week, which is an annual celebration of the arts involving primary schools up and down the country. So, quiet please, settle down everyone. We have some very special visitors today. It's Celebrity Portrait Artist of the Year. Helping us to celebrate Access All Arts Week are six celebrities who all have hidden artistic talents. It's a little bit nerve-wracking. I just want it to be as beautiful as the sitter is. Overseeing the making of their masterpieces are our three judges. Art historian Kate Bryan. This is a big canvas. There's a lot you've got to do. I just love everything that's going on over there. Independent curator Kathleen Soriano. It looks like <laughs> Jack Nicholson coming through the door in The Shining. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> And award-winning artist Ty Schoenberg. Are you looking at anything from yeah. life? A little bit, but not a lot. We're just saying that, just because yeah. I asked yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have just four hours. Oh my god. <laughs> to prove they have what it takes to become the next Celebrity Portrait Artist of the Year. I've been told that I can't burn my sage today. Yeah, I mean this building was almost destroyed by fire a few years ago, yeah. so Literally. you can see why they're sensitive. <laughs> Access All Arts Week is a celebration of the arts designed to take primary school pupils across the UK and Ireland on a creative adventure. Helping us to spread the love of art today are comedian Lee Francis, actor Nitin Ganatra, and graphic designer and illustrator, who also happens to be my sister, Anita Mangan. Hello. Hi. Yes, oh my How God. Are you doing? What the hell am I doing? It's going to yeah. be great. <laughs> Also here to prove their artistic prowess are musician and actress Toya Wilcox, presenter Gemma Kearney, and interior designer Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen. I intend to show off with incredible gusto. Uh, so regardless of what my painting looks like, as long as I look good painting it, that's going to be absolutely fine. We asked each of the celebrities taking part today to bring in one piece of artwork they'd completed in their own time. So a wall packed with our six celebrity submissions, and we start off with a very sunny disposition. Yeah, there's something about Van Gogh about this work. I don't know if it's the straw hat or the beard, <laughs> but it's something that makes you feel happy just looking at it. Smiling face is always very difficult, and this certainly works. Now then, this person looks very familiar. Any ideas? <laughs> <laughs> Love the scale of it. It's got a lot of energy for something that's so small. Familiar looking, don't you find as well? Yeah. Beautiful face. Great DNA. <laughs> Great DNA. <laughs> yeah. So you wait all day for an artist with pink hair and then two come along at once. <laughs> this is a very bold effort. Yeah, really vibrant. I love the use of the gold. You know, it's kind of pulsating off the wall. So this is not a self-portrait, it's a portrait of a loved one. It's really interesting, isn't it, having what looks almost like a wash over the top. I mean, there's barely any paint on the surface. I like the seriousness of the sitter, and the equations give you a sense of the person and their seriousness about their craft. This is lovely, isn't it? off kilter head, that's sort of bleeding down the page. <laughs> I quite like the drips, but then you're sort of drawn by the emptiness into the detail of the face. The artist is so accomplished that they can make something that has got great bones and structure to it, and then allow it to be totally undone. There's resignation in those eyes, though. My face is dribbling off the bottom <laughs> of the page, but that's just the way life is sometimes. And finally, contrary to first impressions, it is a self-portrait. Oh, in the... Um, oh, my goodness. Guess who it is. Guess who yep. it is. Oh, this is a very Baroque <laughs> scene. It's got a lot of exaggeration. And a lot this, of hair. This, <laughs> I'd go as far as to call this annoyingly good, actually. It's a... An irritation. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It'd be interesting to see if today brings as much Baroque whimsy. Yeah. <laughs> it's not just the celebrities painting here today. 
an Access All Arts competition to find young artists to paint alongside them attracted 1,600 entrants. The brief, which went to primary school pupils all over the country, was to paint members of staff from their school. Later in the programme, our celebrities will be joined by the six winners of the competition. But first, they must meet their sitters. Your sitter today gave up a job at Sunderland Council to pursue a career in comedy, and the gamble paid off because he won Britain's Got Talent. Please welcome Lee Ridley, a.k.a. Lost Voice Guy. <laughs> Hello, Lee. Welcome. How are you feeling? I'm pretty excited. I never expected to have my portrait painted. I feel like a member of the royal family. <laughs> One of the good family members, obviously. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Tell us about the object, Lee. I have decided to bring my BBC New Comedy Award because winning the award was the moment I knew I was definitely funny. <laughs> <laughs> Artist, you're a sitter today is a television presenter, screenwriter, and a children's author. She has the distinction of being the longest serving female presenter of Britain's favorite children's program, Blue Peter. Please welcome Connie Huck. <laughs> Come and sit down with us. Thank you. Now, have you ever been painted before? My children have drawn me on various Mother's Day cards and things like that. But well, they're very precious. Yes, um, but no, I've never actually properly been drawn or painted or anything, so this will be interesting. Now, tell me about the object that you brought with you. OK, so this is a Blue Peter ship on a shield. It was at a Metalworks, and um, this is what we produced at the end of the day. I think it's very <laughs> good. And here is another experience for you to have. Exactly, yeah. This is one I never had on Blue Peter, so here we go. Artists, your sitter today is a distinguished player of the double bass. She's also the founder and artistic director of the Chinake Orchestra, which is the first professional orchestra in Europe to be made up of a majority of black and ethnically diverse musicians. Please welcome Chichi Nwanaku. Hello. Nice to have you here. This is your home for the day. How are you feeling about it? I'm going to be getting myself well bedded into this seat. Yes. Now, we asked you to bring along an object that meant something to you. I can't see. Did you remember? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, there it is. It's enormous. Yeah, that's my double bass that was made nearly 400 years ago. Wow. By Nicholas Amati. He was the teacher of Stradivarius. So we became partners about 35 years ago. And been together ever since. Yeah. Well, we're very glad to have you here. Good luck. I hope you enjoy the day. Thank you. Artists, you have four hours to complete your portrait. Good luck to each one of you. Your time starts now. You need a footstool. I'm too short. You're such a queen. <laughs> you need... Can we have a better throne, please? Am I allowed to talk? Yeah, but don't yeah. smile. Ooh. No, I've got... You're making me smile. No, don't smile. Think bad things. As today's celebrity artists begin their portraits, there's plenty of other creativity in the room. Art teacher Jenny Glenton is in Craft Corner, helping children get creative with mixed media. Look at this. If that isn't the best unicorn 3D, gorgeous colour scheme. 
And artist David Schillinglaw is enlisting the help of visiting children with his latest mural, which explores this year's Access All Arts theme of identity. David, this is absolutely thrilling to have a big mural being made while we're making Portrait Artist yeah. of the Year. How big is this? 20 feet. So then how do you marshal all of this? Is there a plan? I think the whole emphasis on this was to sort of upcycle, and we're using lots of the colours of the paint that we used on set. This feels so magical. Why do you think it's so important for children to get involved in the arts? That's a good question. I would say that the arts generally are the spaces where it's OK to fail and uh, it's a way to celebrate insecurity, fallibility. When I was at school, art was the place I felt that I could fail in and it didn't ruin my day. So, Vanessa, Access All Arts, what's that about? Yes, so Access All Arts is an arts initiative for primary schools. It's a celebration of the arts that runs across the week. We provide lots of great resources for teachers across ten different art forms. And why is it important for children to have access to the arts? It helps them express themselves, explore who they are. Not all children are academic, so some children can excel at the arts and it gives them confidence in other areas and helps them build skills they can use elsewhere. It was accessing art from a young age that helped many of our celebrities get to where they are today. I'm very dyspraxic. Focus is very difficult for me, so I never fitted in with the exams. So when I was being really disruptive, the art teacher would put me alone in the art room, and after two hours, there'd be paintings everywhere. I'm very dyslexic, so I see things in terms of images and pictures. I grew up in a corner shop, so I used to steal comics from the shop, copy them, and then put them back. But that's how I learned to draw, by copying cartoons. Nitin Ganatra, OBE, is an actor, best known for his time on EastEnders. His mixed-media self-portrait took five hours to produce. Nitin, your self-portrait was watercolour, <laughs> everything. Ink. Pencil? Pencil, crayons, biro. Are we going to see all of them again today? Yeah. I like watercolour because it's challenging. You right. can't paint over it. Having said that, Watercolour doesn't give me the ping of colour. So then I start using biro and felt tips. I cannot wait to see where this goes. Thank you for the little verbal cuddle there. <laughs> you could do it. Painting a live sitter in this environment might be a daunting prospect for some of our artists. But for one person, it's all too familiar. <laughs> Lawrence, we meet again. You're back now, not as a sitter, but as an artist. No, I am now back as an executioner rather than the executed, <laughs> it's true. I mean, this is a big canvas. There's a lot you've got to do. I just love everything that's going on over there. <laughs> I had a plan I was going to have a really small canvas if I didn't really approve of the sitter. So the fact that I've gone kind of, you know... That's very nice, isn't it? Then? 14th century on this one shows how much I love you. <laughs> well, I'm really flattered. Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen is a renowned interior designer, as well as a classically trained fine artist. His submission, painted in acrylic, was conjured from his own imagination. So let's talk about your submission. It was a yes. lot. It was a it still was a life. It was a pastoral landscape yes. scene. Your portrait was in there but buried. There's no getting away from portraits no. today. No, I mean, I find portrait painting so unbelievably nerve-wracking. And actually, I've not been brave enough to do a portrait, mm. but oddly, the leering satyr on the urn, <laughs> it was like looking at a mirror, sort of a z list deity, and there I am. <laughs> Lee, you've really raised the head and you've really got a sense of the person. So, do you know Connie? Yeah, I do. Does that make it easier or is there a sort of pressure and responsibility from knowing this? There's thing? definitely a pressure and I think drawing pretty people is harder than drawing unique looking people. Yes. So, I'll try and make it look pretty. Yes. I'll try and look, make it look like a human. That's a good start. Lee Francis is a BAFTA winning television host, best known for his alter ego, Keith Lemon. He's no stranger to working quickly, and his self-portrait, drawn in pencil on paper, took just one hour to complete. So when was the last time you used a brush and canvas? Uh, maybe about two years ago. 
OK, well, I tell you, <laughs> you're doing all right. And we've got this fantastic background. Yeah. Is that going to make an appearance? I can't decide. But then I was thinking, ooh, I like the frame I've got round on my phone. I might well do two black lines there, and I might put my thumb there. Oh, right, so it becomes a sort of yeah. stepping back yeah. sort of idea. Because I feel like I'm cheating doing it off my phone. Are you looking at anything from yeah. life? A little bit, but not a You're lot. You're just saying that, just because yeah. I asked yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our celebrities have been studying their sitters for one hour. I want this to be quite a spectacular painting, and I'm even getting Mr. Rufty Tufty double bass in the corner there. I'm more interested in lead, so I'm going to leave the object out for the moment, but I might bring it back in a bit later. It's really strange painting whilst everyone's looking at you. It's like being on the toilet. And then I feel like I'm going to say to someone, can you just pass us that toilet roll? This is such a weird experience, but really fun at the same time. It's the Portrait Artist of the Year, Celebrities versus Kids special. This is great, guys. Oh, that's really good. Where, for the past hour, six celebrity artists have been learning the features of musician Chichi Nwanaku, presenter Connie Huck, and comedian Lee Ridley. So something that's quite important to know is what your favourite colour is. It's probably sky blue. Thank you. Sky Arts Access All Arts Week is all about inspiring creativity among children and exploring the arts in the classroom which is exactly what these primary school pupils have been doing. Artists, you are about to be joined by a new avant-garde art collective. Think mini Monets, pint-sized Picassos, tiny Turners, all taking part in Sky's Access All Arts initiative. Please welcome the Young Portrait Artists. Lucy, lovely to have you here. Um, I thought your painting, your portrait, was it of your teacher? It was of one of my teachers, yeah, called Miss Birch, because she's one of my favourites. And you won out of everybody in your school? Yeah. I was a bit surprised. Serena, congratulations. You won the competition. Thank you. And I notice you've gone in with the eyes. What do you think is going to be the hardest bit? I'm actually not quite sure. Maybe oh. the ears? Oh, the ears. But they've got beautiful, like, diamonds in them, haven't they? Yeah. Oh. Isla, I saw your portrait. It's yeah. fantastic. Like, the guy with the high-vis jacket. Yeah. That was really cool. I think I would be terrified to paint something in neon yellow. Yeah, it's like a special neon green, yellowy kind of colour. The artists have been painting for just over an hour. I can see that you've positioned Connie really centrally and quite high up. I did, because what's really dominating Connie for me is the amount of copper in her hair, so that there is a halo as such. And what I would really love to do to this is just give her a completely gold background <laughs> so that she's there like... A goddess. A goddess. Toya Wilcox is a musician, actress and TV presenter. Her submission is a portrait of her husband, King Crimson guitarist Robert Fripp. It was created in four hours using acrylic. So talk to me about colour, because the colour in your portrait of your husband... Yes. ..that's quite muted and it... soft in a way, but you love strong colour, don't you? I love strong colour, but my eyes are slightly muted at the moment because I have cataracts... Oh. ..which alters how I see colour. So you're sort of enjoying the playfulness yes. of the change, in a way? Um, before I have my eye surgery. Wow. Well, I can't wait to see the richness develop over the course of the day. Thank you. So, Gemma, it's early days, but already a big, bold, exuberant <laughs> painting. Is that a reflection of who you are? <laughs> 
I think it might be, and I also think it's the sense that Lee gave me straight away, just this real sense of fun. As soon as I saw him crack into a smile, the, all these sparks came flying out of his eyes, and I thought, OK, I can resonate with this burst of energy. Lloyd, your self-portrait was, I mean, talk about a burst of energy. <laughs> it's quite bright, isn't it? Oh, it's fantastic. You need some sunglasses for it. Gemma Kearney is an award-winning broadcaster and author. Her spirited self-portrait is painted in acrylic on board and took three days to create. I'm very intrigued by the case. <laughs> what's in the case? <laughs> My Don't tell me it's just your lunch. <laughs> what, what's in there? The case is filled with trinkets that make me feel at home. OK. I've been told that I can't burn my sage today. Oh, what is that, to <laughs> sort of clear Just bad vibes? Yeah, I have this really romantic view of one day having a big artistic studio. Right. That I can roam in and burn things and have a huge canvas and throw paint at it. So I wanted to create that. Yeah, I mean, this building was almost destroyed by fire a few years ago, yeah. so you can see why they're sensitive. <laughs> I'm concentrating on the face and shoulders because I don't do full body. I think we haven't got enough time for that. And I'm doing quite a small portrait, so small is good. Go small or go home. No, it's go big or go home, isn't it? <laughs> Anita Mangan is a celebrated graphic designer and illustrator. More used to working digitally, her self-portrait submission was one of her very first paintings. It depicts her selfie face and was created in acrylic in four hours. Anita, I like the way that this has begun because it almost looks like a sculpture or a mask. There's not like a kind of line quality to yeah. it. Where do you think that comes from? Because it's acrylic paint, I think you can just sort of shape it first. Mm. I think line is fine for drawing. That's interesting because someone who works in illustration and principally does drawing, you would expect that to be the underpinning of your art, yeah. but it seems to be the opposite. I don't know where it came from, it just mm. happened. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> Painting our celebrated sitters are three more young artists, selected for the portraits they did of people who inspired them at school. John, you did a, a drawing of your teacher? Or... Yeah, I did a drawing of my head teacher. She's very inspirational, she's really kind and positive. You're drawing here with loads of people watching you. Is that OK or is it a bit scary? A bit scary. <laughs> Liliana, congratulations. You won the competition. How does that feel? Good. I was very surprised with the call. And you have done so much in such a short time. So have you got ideas about things in the background? Well, I've included the double base here, so oh, I think it might be enough. Well, look, you've made a lovely start. Thank you. Thank you. Poppy, I loved your portrait. You added all of this pattern and imagination to it. Yeah. Who was it that you painted? My teacher from last year. OK, and what did he think of it? He said it was like looking in a mirror. Did he say that? Well, yeah. that's a really good compliment, isn't it? Yeah. Our celebrity artists are nearing the halfway point in the competition. I've just decided to start the gold leaf. So the idea is, is her eyes and her face are intensely human. And then as you move away from that, it becomes like a goddess. I'm going to do some blue around here. And once I say go, I want you to spray the blue. And let's see what happens to the colour. Ready? Aim for here, a bit closer. That's it, that's it, that's it. Oh, beautiful. It's not gone as well as I'd hoped, so I've gone for gimmick. I'm painting my hand holding the phone, so there's more of a concept to it than just portrait. I just thought, oh, I'll do my thumb. That looks like an interesting idea. Battersea Art Centre has become a hive of creativity. Do you want rubber crayons? Just go for it. And as the mural starts taking shape... I like this bit, like an explosion. Our celebrity artists and the young painters who won the Access All Arts School's portrait competition are busy capturing the likenesses of Chichi Nuwanaku, Lee Ridley and Connie Huck. 
Come here, come here. I'm turning your mum into an icon. So in places in Eastern Europe, they have icons on their wall, and your mum is becoming an icon because I think she's so beautiful. What a great day we're having. How do you think it's gone so far? I think it's going really well. And I think, you know, having the young portrait artists here as well has made our celebrity artists raise their game a little bit. Now, Chi Chi is here with a beautiful instrument. They have got this incredible connection, her and her beautiful double bass, and I think Lawrence has caught that very well. And what I really like about his portrait, it's sort of glowing and full of very warm energy. I think what Lawrence has done is really robust. My only issue with it is the likeness isn't entirely there yet. Artists arrive with different concepts of what they're going to do. So what did Anita arrive with? Well, Anita arrived with her safety blanket in that beautiful turquoise that she has in the background. The thing that's interesting about Anita is she's an illustrative artist. The line is your best friend, and today there is no line. So she's kind of, like, sculpted the head from the acrylics. I think it's a magnificent skill to be able to just completely forego drawing and do something entirely with paint. Right, now, Connie has been sitting there looking beautiful. How do we feel the artists are treating her? Like a goddess. You know, with Toya, you've got all the gilt and the gold. And there's more gold on the floor. But there is the a little bit, yeah. But I think it's sort of treating her as if she's this idol. Quite appropriately. It's interesting. The drawing was done first and the gold added afterwards. And I think Toya's now got to adjust the drawing mm. because the weight mm. isn't quite right. OK, what about Lee Francis? Well, Lee Francis' work is a bit of bravado, isn't it, to have the phone holding the image. But actually, when you look at Connie's face, it, it really feels like her. I think he placed her on the right and thought, how do I deal with all this empty <laughs> space? And then he came up with this ingenious solution, which yeah. makes it very meta. OK, let's talk about Lee. Lee's having a great time. You know, he's got bags of personality, and you can see it coming through in both the portraits and actually with what the children are doing. The artists certainly have responded. I think Nitin's self-portrait was kind of uh, strange in the way he was dissolving, but actually it's his style, and it's a good likeness. Yes, he's so good at getting a likeness, I mm. think. It's so sharp. OK, so what do we feel about Gemma's portrait? Gemma is just such a free spirit, isn't she? I want Gemma to put more on. There's such an exuberance and joy. We've got the sense of the person. Let's have more joy. Basically. More joy, yeah. OK. Now, we've got children here painting as part of our day. Our young portraitists are doing incredibly well and they seem totally unfazed and they're doing really good work. Yeah, I mean, the children are better behaved than the adults. <laughs> <laughs> it's going quite well. I'm especially enjoying watching the reactions of others as they walk past the artists. I think they've both gone down a different route from the sounds of things, so it's going to be interesting. I would like the artists to capture the true essence of me. I have to say, I've taken little peeks at the young artists, and I'm very impressed. I feel that they're really capturing a true likeness of me. The Access All Arts children drawing portraits as well today is fantastic. I wish that was every day in all of the arts. Lawrence, you put down Chi Chi's arm, and now you're going over it with a different tone, a different colour. Side. Yeah. Well, I'm actually going to do a bit of glazing on it. Certainly the face and maybe the hair in a tinted varnish. It gives it that sort of real lustre that you get from very worked paintings, which I really like. So you don't like that sort of flat surface no. you get when the paint is put down? So you put a thin... It's quite crunchy. <laughs> I like it to be buttery. All right, sis. <laughs> How's it going? It's good. It goes a lot quicker than you think. Four hours is really quick. It's fun as well. Working alongside. Yeah, he's very he's very shy, isn't he? He's retiring. very quiet. Yeah, yeah he doesn't Lawrence. say very much. Have you seen what he's painting? Have you seen the competition? Yes, yes I have. It's pretty impressive. Is it? <laughs> yes. Well, as Lawrence said earlier, at least one of our family got some talent. So congratulations for having talent. <laughs> Shucks. I'm very proud of you. That's really cool. Thanks, Dar. Look, I don't understand. You know, we've clearly got a winner here. He's even brought his award with him. Yeah. And yet Lee is depicted here with no sign of that. Lee's the centre of the uh, yeah. show at the moment, not the award. Lee, you're more than the award. <laughs> 
Now, Toya, tell me about this gold. I just want to make her look iconic. And I've given her an orb with her blue Peter badge in it. Oh, yes. And it's like a kind of Madonna. That's right, she is, isn't she? Yes. She's very Madonna-like. Lucy has a ber... I love your beret. Thank you. You know, you know. Does wearing a beret make you feel more of course artistic? It does. You're it's creative. like when you go skiing. If you wear skis whilst you're skiing, you feel like you're <laughs> going to ski. <laughs> As the children help to add the finishing touches to the mural... Oh, wow, this is looking so cool now. Our young artists have all finished their assignments. Their works explore this year's Access All Arts theme of identity and each portrait displays an individuality and unique style. Meanwhile, our celebrity artists have just half an hour left before the bell rings. Gemma, gold now. Was there not enough joy? You had to really ramp it up to 11. Yes. <laughs> He's got so much verve and vitality. So I really wanted to add gold. But I'm also wondering whether um, I'm just taking it a bit too far now. I think I'm on track. I've got everything down. I'm now just fiddling. So hopefully I'm not going to fiddle too much to ruin it. I feel like if I do any more to it, I might ruin it. So I'm going to put it down, I'm going to start another one, but this time I'll just go full comic book. There are only 10 minutes left in the competition, so the pressure is on for our six celebrity artists to finish their portraits of sitters, Chichi Nwanaku, Lee Ridley and Connie Huck. What's going on, Lee? What's that? So I've drawn her as Catwoman. Well, why have you stopped on the other one? I feel like it's finished. I feel like if I do any more to it, I might ruin it. OK. Have you checked out the competition? Oh, Sexy Dracula. Sexy Dracula. <laughs> have you checked out his work? I haven't really checked out anybody's, but I'm sure he's got a parrot in there and some roses. I'm feeling the pressure. When you see the painting, I don't want you to take any type of offence. I think this is a classic case of overdoing it. <laughs> you are definitely not selling it. I know. I'm, I never said that I was Picasso. It's a little bit nerve-wracking at this point. I just want it to be as beautiful as the sitter is. I want to do something that Connie likes. My problem is I don't know when to stop. I'm scared that if I keep tampering, I'm going to go too far. Artists, you have five minutes left. Five minutes. Oh, my God. <laughs> I am like a discarded rag. I have given everything that I had to give in this painting. I just want to do better than Lee Francis, because, come on. Artists, your time is up. Please put down your equipment and step away from your easels. <laughs> Did it, Lee? Well done. How did you find it? First of all, I need to point out that Nitin has been flirting with me all day just so he could win. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying. I don't know how far that's got me yet. Well, as long as you've got the award in there, everything's going to be fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's time to have a look, don't you? Yes. Right. Artists, please, turn your easels. Wow. I'm actually very impressed. Well, let's look at Gemma's. 
I really like my gold licks, which is a nickname I never wanted to have. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite spectacular, isn't it? Lee is known as the lost voice guy, and I wanted to give him golden communication. I'd definitely swipe right on it on Tinder. Yes! <laughs> Again, the laughter, the joy, it seems to be a constant theme. I really like my eyes on it. I wanted the eyes to be the centre of the whole picture. Yes, I quite like the way they follow me everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lee, you can only take one of these splendid portraits home. This is actually really difficult. Now I know how Simon Cow will feel every week. <laughs> I'm going to have to go with the one by Gemma, just because it's colourful. Well done, Gemma! <laughs> OK, Connie, the day is over. Ooh. Has it seen a long day? I thought sitting still for four hours would be a nightmare, but actually, I was being very entertained by both Toya and Lee, and I am dying to see what they've done. OK, turn them round. Oh, I don't want to do, actually. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> oh, my gosh. They're both very, very different. Let's go and take a closer yes. look. I'm in a phone! <laughs> <laughs> and this is the drab reality, but this is AI reality, so it's full of colour and joy. I like the dull reality and the vibrant. That says how addicted you are to phones. Yeah, no, yeah. Which, which is wrong, isn't it? Now, this is the goddess, isn't it? Oh, wow. Yeah, you were just iridescent. Wait, God. You know, my name, Connie, is short for Connor, which is Sanskrit for gold. Ah, oh, so there you go. You didn't know that. that. No, I didn't know that at all. There you go. It's very apt indeed. Well, Connie, let's look at both of them together and you can make a choice. <sighs> I'm very torn. It's with a heavy heart that I had to pick one. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go for this one. Okay. Um. How's it been? It's been an incredibly intense day actually and seeing people walking past watching their faces looking at the picture and then, and then you know which one of you lot was that <laughs> <laughs> come on own up now so let's put you out of your misery artists can i ask you please to turn your easels oh my goodness <laughs> wow <laughs> they oh. <laughs> they're so stunning and so incredibly committed versions. <laughs> Quite different, but me. Thank you, Lawrence. She looks so confident, but warm at the same time. Listen, you were great. There's just such quiet power with the way that you were sitting. It's certainly got a flow and it's got harmony. Wow. Well, it's the turquoise going on, which is making my eyes pop. <laughs> The hair looks like a photograph <laughs> might look. Well done. Thank you. Well done, <laughs> Thank sis. You. Thanks, Lord. Thank you. <laughs> right, Chi Chi, oh, it's wow. time. You get to take one and only one of these portraits home with you. Don't think about the resale. <laughs> it's important that you fall in love. <laughs> I'm going to go with the one that's moving me, and, and for that reason, I'm going to choose Lawrence's. Yay. See, I did the double bass. <laughs> That's where you went wrong. As Craft Corner comes to a close, and the mural, the work of many hands, is complete in all its glory, The celebrity artists get a chance to take stock of today's events. I think that um, we lucked out with our sitter and our setup. I think we had the best. The colours were just intense. And while the artists are kicking back, things kick up a gear for our judges. 
So here we go, six portraits painted by people who are famous for having other talents, but they all are pretty handy at art too. And they did very well. I, they're all very complete. And I like it when they take it seriously. They had fun, but they took it seriously. So let's start with Nitin's portrait of Lee. I think it's so engaging. You feel like he's about to tell you a story. It really holds your attention. I think it's got a wonderful energy and vibrancy. I think that's what's really wonderful about Nitin's work, that there's this energy bouncing off it. And I can see that there is a quality in the portrait which doesn't necessarily represent how lovely and charming Lee is, but there's something really powerful about it. I mean, Gemma's is just absolute light. It's all about Lee's joy emanating. The idea of the golden-tongued comedian, I can see, I don't think it works, but otherwise I loved it. She's got Lee filling the canvas, bursting out of the edges, I think is a tribute really to his personality and, and all that incredible thinking that he does, which is sort of emanating from his brain with the gold stardust there. Now, Toya gave us a radiant, queen-like, ethereal mm. majesty. We've got this sort of like Salvador Mundi Leonardo orb here, the Botticelli Venus there, and then the gold of all the art. I think it's less about Connie and more about Toya, but, you know, she was here to make a work of art that interested her. The gold works in, in its abstraction. I just think that once you put the gold on, that you need to work against it. So there's a bit of a misbalance, but I like the idea of the concept and the way she saw it through to the end. Lee has given us Connie on the phone. It's a really interesting work, this, because, yeah, I was looking at my phone, here's my hand, also I can paint hands, isn't that good? And then beyond <laughs> that, I'm going to give you this monochromatic and I'm going to include the sets, and I think it's a fantastic achievement. He didn't have Connie, I feel, until he added all those other elements, actually, but he's really managed to get her at the end, and I think he's done a really interesting job. Now we move on to Chi-Chi and Lawrence's. I think he set out to produce a masterpiece. Yes. And I think it's a very well-constructed painting. In the construction, I think Chi Chi got slightly lost, and so we don't get the sense of the woman. But as a painting, I think it's fantastic. It's a tour de force, isn't it? I mean, you wouldn't expect anything less from Lawrence. It's almost like he's teaching us a lesson. It's like, here you go. <laughs> Here's a portrait. <laughs> and finally, Anita. I really love Anita's piece. I think there's an alertness and attentiveness and a sharpness to it. I think your sister got something there. What I really love about what Anita's done is the way that the head is conjured without any lines. You know, it's all through the modelling with the acrylic paint. It looks like a little early Renaissance portrait. It's just lovely. Well, there we go. Six portraits of celebrities painted by celebrities. But there can be only one winner. Mm. You've got some deciding to do. Indeed. Artists, thank you all for your creativity today. It's been a joy to watch. But as you know, only one artist can be chosen as the day's winner. So, the next Celebrity Portrait Artist of the Year is... Lee Francis! Whoa! Feel really good. Thanks. <laughs> <But> red... <laughs> when they said my name, I suddenly felt like a 12-year-old at school that had just got his bronze swimming award, where you're so proud, but you don't want to show how proud you are, and you get wobbly mouth on like that. Well done. Thank well you, done. thank you, thank you. I'm not going to be put off the fact that Mr. Lee Francis is squealing in overexcited victory because I think he deserves it. I think that Lee's a great winner and he's chuffed to bits, which is really fun to see. <laughs> Lee won because he's a clever artist. His portrait of Connie is what we expect of a portrait. It looked like her, but then he played with the different layers of visual stimulus and he did this all off the hoof. He's pushing the boundaries of what he's comfortable with and we all recognise he knows what he's doing. I can't wait to go home to tell my wife and kids and go, I won! I'm a Jedi! <laughs> if you're a teacher and are interested in taking part in Sky Arts Access All Arts Week, you can find more details at accessallarts.skyarts.uk.